the problem of waste disposal in Japan has always been incredibly relevant. Why? If you look at the map, you will surely notice that 130 million Japanese do not have a lot of space for landfills. Mainly for this reason, the Japanese have long developed their recycling sorting system, came up with a special non-waste philosophy, and even learned how to build islands from garbage. The country of the rising sun does an excellent job of sorting waste in limited territorial conditions. There is simply no other choice. The principle of garbage separation in Japan depends on the areas and requirements of the municipal authorities, but most often waste is divided into four categories, which are somewhat different from our usual separation garbage. And the Japanese do not divide into plastic, paper, metal, and so on, into fireproof, combustible, recyclable, and bulky. Moreover, for each type of waste, special bags of a certain color are intended for volumes to make it easier to distinguish what type of waste they contain. They are transparent if you don't follow the sorting rules. The scavengers will see this and simply won't accept the packages. You will have to wait for the next car. It arrives strictly on schedule. It also applies to cases if you take out a certain type of garbage on an inappropriate day. It will remain in place alone recycling of household appliances and large-sized waste furniture is generally disposed of separately for its processing. You need to pay and notify the utilities in advance, and if you want to dispose of, say, a refrigerator, then for this you will have to take it to the store where it was bought and pay the manufacturing companies so that it took the equipment back or you can pay in this store for the disposal of goods in exchange for this they will give you a special sticker. You need to mark the old equipment with it and only after that carry it to the trash can this practice lead to good results. 50,000 tons of non-ferrous metals a year but if you want to cheat and get rid of the refrigerator in the old-fashioned way by simply throwing it away in the backyard, get ready to receive a fine from the authorities of several hundred dollars. Such are the manners of the Japanese people whose decency is apparently laid down at the genetic level realizing that it's impossible to recycle everything. The Japanese decided to take an example from other countries and implement a zero-waste program. My secret, which says not throwing it away until it's completely used, but be that as it may, Japan burns most of the garbage in a rather dirty way, but not in the case of the Japanese. The plasma gasification technology they use allows burn garbage at a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius and above at such indicators. Tar does not form toxic waste is destroyed from 30 tons of garbage. As a result, six tons of ash remains, which is then cleaned and used in construction. Slag is pressed into huge briquettes from which a building is then built. Even entire artificial islands, Hell Island, because Tokyo Bay is famous for its futuristic architecture and the world's tallest Ferris wheel and the headquarters of most large companies, is one of the most prestigious areas of Tokyo. The western half of the island is a mound of soil. At first it served as a terminal for shipping containers with garbage. The eastern half is already completely built from recycled waste eventually became a green area with recreation facilities on the island is located an elite residential complex spark and factories in fact the power increases the size of the state at the expense of the former garbage the word Taibu International Airport foot I met allergical plant on the island of Odessa we are also located on the foundation from waste if you look at the creation process in more detail, then the foundations of the garbage island are waste classified as fireproof. They are either pressed into briquettes or delivered to the place of laying by trucks in the form of a large powder. The process is not much different from creating artificial wasps, for example. An asset is also preparing a pillow of large stone that is placed on the bottom of the bay. The only difference from adding instead of sand, the Japanese tamp the excavator. They are former garbage after which they put a thin layer of soil and the island is essentially ready. 
making it 20 times suitable for construction. With about 20 tons of garbage, one ton of new Japanese land is obtained. There is always a solution. The rest of the world is still far from such scrupulousness and ingenuity in waste issues as the Japanese. But some already managed to be sure to watch our videos on how the Swedes turned their garbage into gold.